We're going to spend a few minutes praying and then I'm going to pray for you from the depth of my heart. The Lord gave us an instruction. I really want you to carry this grace. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, you will marvel and wonder at what your results become like. Truly speaking, this is no flattery. If it is the Lord's doing, it must be marvelous in your eyes. There are some of you, September will look like 10 years put together. One month. One month. One month. Looking like 10 years together. And the next time they ask you, how has this thing happened in your life? Be very quick to tell them that it is because of the Jesus factor. The presence factor. The supernatural factor you just started a ministry how come in four months God is doing this through you and you can tell them honestly by my strength I can do nothing but I have accessed a grace from heaven how come your children your children who did not used to do well what suddenly happened to them how come the academics are changing I know these children they were also classmates with my children and you tell them they came for service and something came upon their lives one story and we'll pray a very true story many years ago i always enjoyed the privilege of what we know to be first position or best in class and all of those things and then one time in secondary school i was to receive a root shock and a gentleman who was a dear friend you know that year i don't know what happened and I went back to third and the gentleman took first and it didn't add up to me because we were we were friends and we're wonderful people you can imagine you know just children thinking and then I returned home I was feeling sad and I was saying what what would, what would have been the reason and then the gentleman told me something then oh, goodness there was only one living faith branch then in Joss. And he told me, he said, he remembered that not too long before the exams, all he remembers is that they did an anointing service and they gathered all of them together. And then oil just came on them and declarations were made. I said, really? When I learned this, I said, oh, Joshua Selman, my head is exalted like the horn of a unicorn and i am anointed with fresh oil my head you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn and i am anointed That was the extra factor in the life of that gentleman. He came to church in addition to his study. A man of God declared over his life and placed something upon his life that beat us hands down. We did our best. It just did not work. The same way something is coming on you this night, that when it comes upon your life even though you just came here with your intellect alone you came here with your connection but I stand before the God of heaven this grace that comes upon ordinary men and turns their lives around hear me for some of you when this grace comes upon you people who have long forgotten you believe what I tell you supernatural achievements by the spirit things will just begin to happen some of you by this grace you will step into ease ease that you may not be able to explain ease 
peace that you cannot explain. You believe that? When it's time to pray, please no moving around. Don't distract yourself. This is a very prophetic moment. In the next five minutes, I'd like you to pray. The prayer point is, Lord, give me an encounter. Let this grace come upon my life. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Please pray. Please pray. Supernatural. It's time to command the supernatural. Supernatural prosperity. Supernatural wisdom. Supernatural ministry. Supernatural evangelism. Supernatural business. Supernatural parenting. Pray. Following online, make sure you're praying. Lord, I am ready to step into a supernatural life. The reality manifesting, commanding the supernatural. Man of God, pray. Believers, pray. Let ordinary living come to an end. Ordinary ministry come to an end. Ordinary business come to an end. Ordinary parenting come to an end. I step into the realm of miracles, signs, wonders. Results that confound principalities and powers. Supernatural music ministry. Are you praying? Don't be distracted. Pray. Supernatural results by the Spirit of the Living God. It's time to shift to shift levels in the spirit. It's time to begin to manifest the supernatural. It's time for your life to be an epistle, a testament of God's wonder-working power. Break 
Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire fall, fall on me. Fire, fire, fire. Fire fall on me. Just in the days of Pentecost. Fire fall on me. Like in the days, like in the days of Pentecost. Fire fall on me. Fire, fire. Fire, 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 but let me tell you this in this end time those who will really carry the grace for signs and wonders must be people who are serious with Jesus very serious very hungry very passionate more than titles more than church more than emoji more than apostle more than prophet I want to pray for you now. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. Set my heart on you so you'll do what you do we're in a mood this is a mood when Peter and John came to the man at Gate Beautiful he said silver and gold I do not have he said but such as I have give I unto you listen to me I don't mean to be arrogant but let me tell you this when it has to do with the supernatural I know what I'm saying I have enjoyed the message of God even on this wise I know what a supernatural life will do to you your ministry your business your life it is jesus we are looking up to 
but it is men that he uses i'd like you to open your heart in the next two or three minutes believe with your heart just help those under the anointing i have had many encounters in my life i've only said a few of them it is on the authority of scripture the ministry of the holy spirit and the privilege of these encounters i myself have been a recipient of the graces of those that have gone ahead it is not everything that has come just directly by my own personal encounter we have met many people there are those who have gone ahead even in ministry there are those who have demonstrated a supernatural life though we are few we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before we are not the first you are not the first to do supernatural business john d rockefeller these are men and women who encountered grace you're not the first to do supernatural ministry oh dear scripture and history is full of men and women who shook the earth in their lifetime you're not the first to have a supernatural career ask daniel through the reign of four kings he remained on top regardless who was in power he remained on top there was a grace and they said an excellent spirit not an excellent talent an excellent spirit was at work in him you are not the first to be intellectually supported by the spirit of god there were hebrew boys who were 10 times better 10 times better let me pray for you now Father, let this grace come upon your people. Let everyone under the sound of my voice, by the privilege of this grace, by the, the ministry of this angel of the Lord's presence, I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus, that everyone under the sound of my voice, at the count of three, may this grace come upon you. May it follow you may it produce results one two three take that grace now take that grace now take that grace in business supernatural business supernatural ministry signs signs and wonders in the name of jesus let those that have hitherto rakatos kete prekete kata i command those gates be open hither and tita in the name of jesus christ be open hither and tita in the name of jesus christ hear me in the morning in the afternoon in the evening in the night manifest the supernatural For many of you who are in ministry here, I anoint you. Go back to your pulpits. Let fire begin to fall upon your altars in unusual proportions. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that has been happening in your life by a natural sequence, we place grace upon it and we command in the name of Jesus quantum leaps geometric proportions of results where you have been praying naturally i place grace upon you may your ministry of prayer step into a supernatural dimension may your ministry of word study step into a supernatural dimension There are many of you here, God has called you into the healing ministry. But as it is, 
you have not really seen that dimension the tangibility of the healing oil it has not come upon you i open this jar in the realm of the spirit and in the name of jesus like samuel unto david i place that oil upon you receive that grace now young and old man of god woman of god prophet apostle pastor intercessor receive that grace i release you into a strange healing ministry in the name of jesus we have a financial series coming but let me pray over your finances can i be sincere with you there is such a thing called supernatural finances there really is such a thing the mystery of the raven that brings bread for Elijah at Brook Cherry. The mystery of the five loaf and two fish that can feed 5,000. There is supernatural finances. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. From today, in the name of Jesus, I measure a thousand cubits by grace. I push you into a deeper level of supernatural finances. Provide value at a supernatural dimension in the name of Jesus Christ. One last prayer. For many of you, you have been making progress, but the progress is too slow relative to your destiny. In the name of Jesus, just help those under the anointing. My goodness. Hear me wherever you should have been but because you did not have the supernatural advantage you have not arrived here yet i stand by the rod of the prophetic in the name of jesus between now and the end of september please hear me i stand as touching the god of my covenant go forward go forward i push you by prophecy in the name of jesus christ Help them, please. Go forward in the name of Jesus Christ. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. In your career, go forward. In business, go forward. In ministry, go forward. Can I be sincere with you? This is the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. One of the indices that measure fulfillment is progress. I pray for you again. Whatever has made the pace of your acceleration slow, the same grace that came upon Elijah and made him to run and overtake the chariots of Ahab, may that grace come upon you right now. And every force that we want to fight this prophecy in the name of Jesus by the privilege of God's grace he has given us the key of David the key that opens a door that no man can shut and can shut a door that no man can open we open that door and it remains open day and night we open that door it remains open day and night by the mystery of the key of David that door will never be shut day or night in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus wave your hands to Jesus as an act of worship just wave your hands to the king of kings thank you 
thank you Jesus for changing my level thank you for giving me a new story remember Thanksgiving is the last digit to the faith equation Lord we thank you we wave our hands in worship thanking you indeed it is a good thing to come to the house of the Lord hallelujah now please listen just final admonishment do not walk out of this place after sharing the grace as if it's not church you came to because many people even under this atmosphere once you are done you return back to your vomit again and now begin to act in a natural carnal way realize that you are always supernatural protect the things that come out of your lips don't just speak as if you are not born again don't just act as if the Holy Spirit is not at work in you it says now that you know these things happy are you if you do them hallelujah let me make an altar call now inside outside all the overflows there are people here whilst you heard me talking about the supernatural I told you that the first basis of the supernatural is salvation your encounter with Jesus and I know that you are here and you've never truly made that decision for Jesus perhaps you've been coming to church perhaps you even come from a Christian family perhaps you've been around men of God but you're saying apostle I want to start afresh with Jesus or you are here saying I've given my life to Jesus Christ but as it is right now I truly do not know the way my life is going I need a renewal I need a rededication I'm going to count one to five I'd like you to run like there's fire on the mountain come and stand here one run to Jesus help them help them help that lady please help her help her so she doesn't fall in. run to Jesus inside and outside I'm yours, I'm yours, I'm yours forever. I'm yours, I'm yours, I'm yours. My life is yours, it's yours, it's yours forever. It's yours, it's yours, it's yours. Whatever you ask of me, whatever you ask of me, I surrender. Let that be your confession. Join them if you are still coming. Whatever you ask of me, I surrender. One more time. It's a prayer from the depth of your heart. Whatever you ask of me, whatever you ask of me, I surrender. Can I tell you this? Only God can tell the joy that is in my heart every time I see people come to stand and make this declaration for Jesus. Every time. We pray for this every week. We cry for this. At the back of our preaching, we expect this to happen. Souls running to Jesus genuinely. Genuinely. I want to salute every single one of you. Some of you are crying. Don't be ashamed of your tears. He can always give you a new beginning. I can tell you, this is a family of faith. There are many of you, whilst you are crying, God is seeing a prophet, an apostle, He's seen a mighty general lift your right hand very high above your head and I want you to say this convincingly knowing that Jesus is here let it be from the depth of your heart say after me Lord Jesus tonight I have heard your word I believe that you are my God my Savior my Lord and my king tonight I declare that my life is no longer mine I hand it over to you in exchange 
for your own life i receive into my spirit eternal life i receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and i declare that i reign in life say after me the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever i am a child of god washed by the blood of the lamb i go forward ever and backward never amen keep your hands lifted father i pray and thank you for these ones jesus for these ones that you have brought to yourself we honor you and we thank you by the authority of scripture i decree and declare that your sins are forgiven and that the lord gives you a new beginning from tonight i commend you therefore to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the spirit and i pray that you will become mighty vessels in the hands of god in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare that everything that is not of god in and around your life let it go now once and forever in the name of jesus christ i welcome you to the family of faith and i declare that in the name of jesus christ you go forward ever and backward never in jesus name i pray congratulations to every one of you now very quickly there are counselors waving the placard at my right which is your left i'd like you to please move in concert be be careful with the crane so you don't injure yourself please all of you this way to my left let's celebrate them as they go you'll just meet with a few counselors and you'll be back now if any of them stood up close to you and they did not carry their bags their bible i forgot to say this please make sure you protect it for them whilst they are away hallelujah celebrate them as they go amen now just just two quick announcements please let me have your attention thank you for your patience just two very quick announcements and then we're done for tonight the first is our school of ministry now as you know we've been running a school of ministry for eight years now and we're really proud of what god is making out of our students and um, it's usually part of the program to have what we call a practicum a practicum is a time where i haven't built the students to a measure we allow them um, we engage them in the work here in koinonia they can run a whole service or do something just to build them and um, by the grace of god we're happy i'm not sure that i have the date here maybe i'm sure i threw the paper somewhere but then the practicum for this set will be on the 10th of october the 10th of october right here it will be a koinonia service so please pray along support them some of you they are your loved ones please cooperate with them they are going to be having engaging moments from now till that time please do understand and lend them your support and then by the grace of god same october by his grace we're going to be graduating them both campuses both here and zaria will be graduating our students in october praise the name of the lord hallelujah um there's a special announcement coming from the worship team the worship team is pleased to announce that it's finally opened and is looking for skilled instrumentalists and vocalists those interested listen carefully those interested should please send i'm told maybe a one minute video to eni worship team as one word eni worship team at gmail.com or you can do well to wait i think if you have the time you can wait just at my left and then you'll see some of the leaders they'll guide you on what to do they are particular look looking for skilled instrumentalists and vocalists you are here you are in this house and god has graced you on that wise please do well to see them and trust the lord to bless you and to help you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah have you been blessed tonight we thank god for the showers of blessings we receive them as confirmations that you have stepped into a supernatural dimension 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Um, the next announcement is security. Now, God has granted us grace. We're a very large house. There are overflows down to the basement and outside. And I want to lend my voice with the security department to encourage everyone that please, every time you come for Koinonia, number one, realize that you are ultimately responsible for any and all items that you come with. We've had an occasion where items get missing and all of that. Please do well to make sure that um, if and when you pack your vehicles, work with what the security department tells you and then do well to lock your vehicles. And then when in the auditorium or around the facility, please make sure that your bags, if you came with valuables, make sure that you always keep an eye on them, especially because of some of the manifestations that happen. We do not want a situation where we have people coming in to come and steal. It's unfortunate. It shouldn't be. But we're a responsible ministry and will not rule that out. It is possible that these kinds of things can arise, as is the case with most um, very large ministries. So I want to encourage you to please be security conscious even whilst you are here. We have our CCTVs and then we have the um, protocol and security department working together to make sure that lives and property, we also have the force and the rest, but at least do your best to contribute. Lend your attention and your participation to make sure that everything um, that should be protected is protected. And then as much as possible, if you can, uh, as much as with, is within your power, do well to minimize coming with extremely valuable things to church. Maybe things like um, checkbooks or some kind of very valuable things, except you have to. And if, if you do come with them, please protect them. We do not want a situation where we hear that people have come to, um, you know, steal or do anything. And then the final announcement still on security is please we have official correspondence systems. The PR desk is outside. You can always meet them for correspondence. Do not listen to any third party correspondence on any and all matters that relate to the ministry, especially when you are here, especially as it um, concerns things that have to do with finance or so on and so forth. Whatever you want to find out, the PR desk is there, the protocol department, alongside the security people, they are here to help you. You can always ask authorized people because some of you have been misled by people who just want to take advantage of you. It's important that I state this and the Lord is going to grant us grace and help us in Jesus' name. It's raining, so please do well. If you, if you, if you don't have to, you can just remain a bit, let the rain subside, and then you can go out so that you do not... Um, you do not get yourself wet, especially for those who have children and nursing mothers. And if you can, please do well to help and support some of our people who may not have vehicles as, as at yet so that you can just help them. The Lord will bless and honor you in Jesus' name. Have you been blessed tonight? Please rise up on your feet. Thank you so much. I honor and I bless everyone who has been here. Again, please let's appreciate Minister Owe Abutu. God bless you. Thank you such such a great time with you hallelujah the lord bless you i declare that your weak beginning is blessed in jesus name you will experience the supernatural and you will command same all through this week in the name of jesus you will continue to love the lord with all your heart and you continue to serve him passionately and whilst you do that you will keep experiencing results from one level to the other in jesus name the lord bless you the lord honor you for in Jesus' name we pray. Let's share the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us now and forever. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you and see you on Sunday.
suffer my foot to be moved. I carry your presence everywhere. Who am I? Your mind is so full of me. Mortal men, awesome God. Mortal men, awesome sin. You will not, you will not suffer my foot to be I carry For you will not suffer my foot to be 